find the remainder when 2x cubed minus 2x plus 1 is divided by x minus 3. Okay, so let's work out what x needs to be. Okay, when we put it in there, so put it equals to 0 and then take it over, so x is 3. So we sub um, 3 into here. we get 49. So the remainder is what you get when you put a 3 in there and it comes up to be 49. Show that x plus 4 is a factor. So if we do a similar thing now, so put x plus 4 equals to 0, so then x equals minus 4. Sub minus 4 in there, and we'll be hoping that comes out to be 0. Okay, so then that means there's a 0 remainder. The 0 remainder, so it's going to be a factor. Uh, indeed comes out of zero so we could say therefore no remainder which implies x plus four is a factor so if it is a factor then we can um, show then that it's going to be one of the brackets of the solution here there's three brackets, remember? We don't know what the other two brackets are. So, um, we, we, we're just gonna work out what the the uh, two brackets would be once they multiply together. So if you multiply the two brackets together, you get a quadratic, wouldn't you? Now, this time, it's gonna be something x squared plus something x plus, plus a constant. Now this time, it's actually gonna be two x squared here. The reason why I know it's going to be 2x squared is because there's a 2 in front of that x cubed. And think about it, when you get x cubed here from multiplying it out, it's going to be these two multiplied, isn't it? x times 2x squared. Okay, that's going to give me 2x cubed. That's why I put a 2 there. That number is always the same number as what's in front of the x cubed. Okay, so plus bx plus c. I'm going to work that out. In front of the x squared, this time is 5. Now, how do I get x squared from here? What would I have to times the x by? Well, it'll be x times bx, wouldn't it? So that'll be bx squared, so it'll be a b. And how else can I get an x squared? Well, it'll be this, wouldn't it? It'll be this. So it'll be these, be that times that, and this times this will give me x squared as well. So 4 times 2 is 8. Um, so that means then I can work out what b is. So take the 8 over, it becomes a minus 8. So that means then b is equal to minus 3, okay? And then to work out what c is, I just look at the constant here, which is minus 8. And to get a constant from here, I need to do 4 times c, yeah? That's the only thing that will give me a constant not involving x. So that means c is minus 8 divided by 4, which is minus 2. So check it in. So I've got x plus 4, 2x squared, minus 3x, minus 2. Okay, now I need to um, put these into two brackets. So remember that method we use, we put 2x in both brackets, okay, multiply add thing, so I need to multiply, well, because this is a 2 year, times that by that n number, so it'll be minus 4, it's going to add up to minus 3. So two numbers that multiply to a minus 4, add up to minus 3, well, 4 and 1 would work, wouldn't it? I need to make, to add up to minus 3, this would be, need to be a minus, that would need to be a plus. I think that works, doesn't it? So minus 4 plus 1, but remember, because I times by 2 here, I need to pay back and divide by 2 here. And you can see that there's a common factor of 2 in that first bracket. So we have that. When you divide by 2, that 2 will cancel with that 2. So you have x plus 4, x minus 2, 2x two plus 1. Okay, and there's our final solution.